video we will learn how to create DAC MX channels. We can use the DAC MX global channel control to launch the DAC assistant. Follow these steps to launch the DAC assistant and create a new global virtual channel. Place a DAC MX global channel control on the front panel. Right click the control and select new NI DAC MX channel max or new NI DAC MX channel project from the shortcut menu. If the VI is not in a project, the project option is grayed out. Follow the on screen instructions to configure the global channel. Let's require signals, let's require analog input and voltage. Let's select a simulated device and a channel. Let's press next. Name is fine. Let's click finish. So let's test run this channel. Let's click stop and OK. When we save the task and exit the DAC assistant, LabVIEW sets the DAC MX global channel control to the name of the channel. After we create global channel, we can use the DAC MX global channel control to generate code for that global channel. So the code has been generated, the control has now been removed and replaced with the generated code. Let's go inside this VI, front panel has been populated, let's watch the block diagram. DAC MX create task. DAC MX flatten channel settings string with the channel name and then add channel to task. Let's close it. One thousand samples per channel is fine. Let's have finite samples. Rate of thousand samples per second is fine.
multiple samples. Let's plot the data on the graph. Let's run the code. And there our data is plotted. We can also use an IMAX to launch the DAC assistant and create a channel. So here is our global channels. Let's remove these previously made channels. Let's create a new DAC MX channel. Same procedure, only we are creating then this channel from within the MAX. Channel is created. can be tested and settings modified and can be used. 